In the heart of the dense rainforest, an unexpected discovery has sent shockwaves through the local police force. A World War II submarine, believed to have been lost at sea, was found mysteriously abandoned amidst the towering trees. As officers cautiously approached the rusted vessel, their panic intensified upon glimpsing the chilling contents inside. But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. As he slowly and carefully walked through the rainforest, trying not to make a sound and scare away the animals, his eyes fell on a strange metal object in the distance. At first, he thought it could be a plane that had crashed, but as he pushed a big leaf out of his eyesight, he realized he was actually looking at a submarine. Suddenly, his eyes fell on a marking he had seen before. Jason couldn't believe his eyes. The marking he recognized was from World War II. Jason knew he had to call the local police, but would they believe him if he told them he had found a World War II submarine in the middle of a rainforest? Suddenly, his heart began to race as his eyes fell on a strange red smear. Deep down, Jason knew exactly what that red smear meant, but he didn't want to jump to conclusions. He snapped a picture of that too and quickly called the police. As he had expected, the police didn't believe a thing he said, so he emailed them his pictures. Not long after, he got a call back saying the police were heading over to him immediately. Jason was very, very curious about this submarine and the story behind it. And as long as the police weren't there yet, he had all the time in the world to go and check it out. Jason couldn't suppress his curiosity and decided to enter the submarine without waiting for the police. As he descended cautiously into the submarine, Jason couldn't help but be surprised by the interior's atmosphere. The air inside was surprisingly fresh, the total opposite of the musty, stagnant odor he had expected. With his camera in hand, Jack began documenting the mysterious surroundings. He captured every detail, the dimly lit corridors, the control panels frozen in time, the personal belongings left behind, and the ominous silence that enveloped the submarine. As Jason walked deeper into the submarine, he suddenly heard muffled sounds from outside. Shit, he thought. The police were here. He quickly made his way out. But as he popped his head out of the submarine, his stomach dropped. All the police officers were pointing their guns at him. Were they arresting him? I'm Jason, the one who called, Jason tried. The officers quickly lowered their guns, but they didn't look happy at all. Jason couldn't blame them, though. He hadn't waited for them, and now his DNA was all over the submarine's insides. As Jason stepped off the submarine, the police's commander walked toward him. You have to come back to the station with us for some questioning, he said. Inside the submarine, the police found walls etched with codes that appeared ancient and enigmatic. The characters were unlike any language or encryption method known to modern cryptology, sparking curiosity and confusion among the officers. Amidst the submarine's interior, the officers discovered maps adorned with unrecognizable symbols. The officers speculated on the meaning behind the codes and maps. Were they strategic plans from World War II or something more arcane? Experts in linguistics, cryptography, and history were called upon to unravel the submarine's secrets. The maps became a focal point of the investigation, their cryptic symbols potentially holding the key to understanding the submarine's enigmatic journey through time and space. Forensic experts, sifting through the submarine's innards, uncovered components that starkly contrasted with its World War II exterior. These parts, sleek and modern, seemed out of place against the rusted backdrop of history. The discovery of modern components within the submarine suggested activities beyond its known historical context. These findings implied a use far beyond the end of World War II, hinting at clandestine operations shrouded in secrecy. The presence of modern technology in an ancient war machine painted a complex picture of espionage and concealed agendas. It was a revelation that sent ripples of unease through the investigative team. In the stark interrogation room, Jason faced a barrage of questions. The officer's skepticism was palpable as they probed the details of his discovery. His account of stumbling upon the submarine in the dense rainforest was met with disbelief. The air was thick with suspicion as Jason tried to convince them of his innocent involvement. Jason, sensing the growing doubt, presented his photographic evidence. The images, clear and undeniable, displayed the strange writings within the submarine. The photos served as silent testimony to his discovery, capturing the eerie interior and the cryptic symbols that adorned its walls. After hours of questioning, the police released Jason, though not without reservations. They instructed him to remain available for further questioning as they continued to unravel the mystery of the submarine. 
Jason left the station, his mind swirling with the day's surreal events, aware that his connection to the case was far from over. Jason, with a blend of determination and curiosity, began to decipher the strange writings within the submarine. Using his knowledge of historical codes and modern decryption techniques, he painstakingly translated the symbols, uncovering messages hidden for decades. Jason's findings pointed to a shadowy web of wartime secrets that were only just beginning to come to light. These revelations painted a picture of a submarine not just as a war machine, but as a carrier of secrets, pivotal to hidden wartime activities. As the codes began to form a coherent narrative, a story of hidden activities during the war emerged. The submarine's purpose and missions, though still shrouded in mystery, were slowly coming to light through the language of these secret codes. Jason and the police started to feel the unsettling sensation of being watched. This feeling intensified during their investigations, creating an atmosphere of unease. The intricate codes and diary entries began to converge, pointing unmistakably towards a specific location in Madagascar. This revelation was like a beacon in the dark, guiding Jason and the police towards a new phase in their investigation. The clues suggested a significant site in Madagascar, possibly the final destination of the submarine's secretive mission. With the location identified, preparations for an expedition to Madagascar began. Finally, the team set out on their journey to Madagascar. Venturing into the dense, untamed jungle, they sought the truths hidden within its depths. Deep in the jungle, the team stumbled upon an old, concealed military base. Overgrown with vegetation, it was a relic of a bygone era, forgotten by time. Exploring the abandoned base, they found evidence linking it to the submarine's secret mission. Old documents, faded photographs, and wartime memorabilia painted a picture of a secret operation, one that the submarine was a crucial part of. This discovery bridged gaps in the team's understanding of the submarine's mysterious past. Among the relics, they found artifacts, espionage materials, and technical blueprints that redefined their understanding of World War II history. These items told a story of clandestine activities and technologies far ahead of their time. Each piece of evidence added a new layer to the already complex history of the submarine and its mission. The discoveries made in Madagascar shed new light on previously unknown aspects of World War II. The evidence gathered from the submarine and the hidden base revealed a secret chapter of the war, one filled with espionage, advanced technology, and covert operations. The mysterious figures tailing Jason and the police were finally revealed to be descendants of the submarine's original crew. They approached the team, their faces etched with a mix of apprehension and determination. The descendants shared a tale woven with family honor and betrayal, stretching back generations. Their ancestors had served on the submarine, sworn to secrecy about their mission. This secrecy became a heavy legacy, passed down through the years, burdened with unspoken truths and a sense of duty to protect their family's history. The recovery of the submarine's secrets brought a sense of closure to the descendants. It was a moment of reconciliation with their past, honoring the memory of their ancestors. The families were finally able to acknowledge and celebrate the bravery and sacrifices of their forebears, bringing peace to a history shrouded in mystery.